Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Technology is very advanced now. Computers, mobile phones, games, and artificial intelligence are all inseparable from GPUs, graphics processing units. Have you heard about it? The United States may completely ban the sale of GPUs to China. Let's talk about this today to see what is going on and what impact it has on people. Why does the United States ban the sale of GPUs? First of all, why does the United States ban the sale of GPUs? To put it bluntly, this is actually a means of technological competition. The United States has always wanted to maintain its leading position in the field of science and technology, especially in the high-tech industry, and has put a lot of effort into it. GPUs, as key components in the fields of artificial intelligence, high-performance computing, and graphics processing, are a hot commodity in the high-tech industry. Now, China is developing rapidly in the fields of artificial intelligence, 5G, and new energy, and the United States feels a little uncomfortable. They are worried that if China continues to develop in these fields, their technological hegemony will be lost. Therefore, they are thinking of curbing China's development through various means, and banning the sale of GPUs is one of them. So what will happen to people's online life if the sale of GPUs is banned? Will computers and mobile phones no longer be usable in the future? In fact, don't worry too much. First of all, although GPU is important, it is not the whole of online life. When surfing the internet, chatting, and watching videos, the performance requirements for GPU are not particularly high. Ordinary computers and mobile phones, even with integrated graphics cards, can meet these basic needs. In recent years, China has also made a lot of efforts in the field of GPU and developed many useful products. For example, Huawei's Ascend series GPUs have strong performance and are not inferior to international manufacturers. Therefore, even if the United States bans the sale of GPUs, China does not have to worry about having nothing to use. Of course, for some professional users, such as gamers, graphic designers, artificial intelligence developers, etc., they may have higher requirements for GPU performance. However, these users are only a minority after all, and I believe that as Chinese GPU companies continue to grow and develop, their needs can also be met. Huawei ushered in new market opportunities. Speaking of this, we have to mention Huawei. Huawei has really been suppressed by the United States in recent years. From 5G to chips, and now GPUs, the United States is trying every means to curb Huawei's development. However, Huawei has become more and more courageous and has made breakthroughs in various fields. This time, the US ban on the sale of GPUs may really be a new market opportunity for Huawei. Why do you say that? You think, once the US bans the sale of GPUs, the supply of GPUs in the international market will be tight. Those companies and individuals who originally relied on American GPUs may now have to find another way out. And Huawei happens to have its own GPU products, and the performance is not bad. Therefore, these companies and individuals are likely to turn to Huawei. In this way, Huawei can occupy a larger share in the international market. Of course, if Huawei wants to gain a foothold in the international market, 
it has to rely on its own strength. They have to continue to develop new products, improve product quality, and optimize user experience. Only in this way can they win the trust and support of more users. What impact does this have on people? At this point, some friends may ask, what impact does this have on people? In fact, for people, the impact of this matter may not be that great. After all, computers and mobile phones do not have particularly high performance requirements for GPUs. Moreover, even if the United States bans the sale of GPUs, China's own GPU companies can meet basic needs. However, this matter has a great impact on China. After all, GPU is a hot commodity in the high-tech industry. It is widely used in artificial intelligence, high-performance computing, graphics processing and other fields. If China lags behind in this field, it will be detrimental to the development of the entire country. Therefore, we must have full confidence in China's GPU companies, let them gain a foothold in the international market, and contribute their own strength to China's development. At this point, some friends may ask, can China's GPU companies keep up with the pace of international manufacturers? In fact, don't worry too much. In recent years, China has made a lot of efforts in the high-tech industry. China has not only made breakthroughs in the chip field, but also has a good performance in the GPU field. Just like Huawei, their Ascend series GPUs are powerful and not inferior to international manufacturers. Moreover, they are constantly developing new products, improving product quality, and optimizing user experience. Therefore, I believe that as China's GPU companies continue to grow and develop, they will definitely be able to keep up with the pace of international manufacturers. Besides, domestic substitution is not something that can be accomplished in a day or two. It depends on China's support, the efforts of enterprises, and the innovation of scientific researchers. Therefore, we have to give Chinese GPU companies more time and patience to let them gain a foothold in the international market.